Hello, welcome to the Friday, February 12th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Jan came across an interesting ancient Tesla sample. Now, at first it looked like, well, just any ancient Tesla sample. It arrived as one of those uh, fake DHL shipping notices. In itself, uh, this was not done very well. It used an from address that claimed to be from DHL.com. Now, with DHL.com using SPF, uh, these emails most likely ended up in your spam folder. The attachment was an ISO file, which again is not really all that unusual, but the content of the ISO file then turned out to be somewhat odd uh, as Jan dove uh, deeper into it. In addition to just bloating the content of uh, the sample by attaching bitmap image files, the sample also included a code, a couple of DLLs and such from valid and high malware. Jan identified the source of the code as a piece of software called Virus Effect Remover, uh, no longer uh, being sold, and it's about uh, 10 plus years old, uh, but that's the code that they appended uh, to this particular malicious sample. At this point, we can only really guess why they did it. So first of all, attackers do sometimes like to Load their malware samples, make them larger in order uh, to evade inspection. A lot of antivirus tools will not inspect files above a certain size. And that's why you, for example, in this case as well, see images being included uh, with uh, the malware. The other reason, and that may be a little bit more sinister, uh, but uh, also not very likely given the overall sophistication or lack of sophistication for this sample, it may be an attack trying to bypass or evade some machine learning algorithms. There have been some interesting papers recently that described how machine learning algorithms or anti-malware based on machine learning can be fooled into believing that malware is actually benign by including a a sample of common benign uh, software. In a particular paper, for example, they used notepad.exe. Maybe there's sort of a little uh, attempt uh, to do something like this. Given the reasonable high uh, virus total score, well, it uh, didn't seem to really make a difference. And of course, uh, machine learning is often used sort of secondary uh, to some of the more traditional anti-malware techniques. So just bypassing machine learning is usually not going to do the trick. And talking about traditional anti-malware, McAfee Total Protection has fixed four vulnerabilities in its product. Some of them can lead to arbitrary code execution, but also arbitrary file deletion and privilege escalation. Overall, the description doesn't sound like uh, these are sort of super critical patch now vulnerabilities, so just update it as you get around to it. Intel this week also released a number of security patches, probably the most applicable ones and also the ones with the highest CBSS scores affect uh, graphic drivers. So make sure you uh, got them all up to date. You may not necessarily get them with operating system updates and they do affect Windows as well as Linux. The remaining vulnerabilities are sort of across the entire product palette of uh, Intel, which means a lot of sort of hardware like Ethernet uh, drivers and uh, motherboard uh, drivers and the like. Um, For most of these, you will need a patch uh, from the particular manufacturer OEM that made your particular device. And Cscaler is reporting that they are seeing an uptick in malware being distributed via Discord. Now, Discord, of course, uh, yet another uh, chat uh, service. And like all of these services, they're used to advertise malicious files. What makes Discord a little bit uh, special is uh, that it's using its own content deliver network. So the files themselves, uh, they come from Discord servers. 
Also, a lot of these files claim to be uh, games and the like. With that, uh, you may have also heard, we usually don't talk much about breaches, but CD Projekt Red, the maker of Cyberpunk and other games like this, has recently uh, been breached and apparently uh, their code is now advertised uh, as well. If you do see a download for any of uh, these files, they're usually malicious at this point. In particular, the Cyberpunk uh, 2077 uh, code is not offered uh, for free by these criminals, but for sale. Well, and uh, this is it uh, for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.